Before I go any further, uh, my family is actually here tonight, and I'm going to introduce them to you right now. <laughs> See anybody you know up there with a strange haircut that was done with a flow beat? Wow. <laughs> and if you didn't know I was a homosexual now, look at there. My brother and I are both adopted. One. We're both adopted from different families. Two. Anybody want to take a shot at number three? <gasps> what was that? <laughs> we are both gay. Wow. Wow, did my parents hit the lotto on that one? <laughs> We found out at an early age that standing up for ourselves uh, was hard to do if we didn't know who we were. And if you don't have good self-esteem and you're not standing up for yourselves, if we didn't do it, other people did it for us. Dyke, faggot, fatso, slut were often words that were slung around. Sorry, what is your legacy going to be and what kind of community do you want to live in? Because that's really important. And there's been a lot of things in this particular community and many others of bigotry or not liking somebody because they're gay or they look different or what they believe in. And for me, if you can't celebrate your life and who you are and be a friend of somebody, you're living in an unhealthy community. And you need to celebrate everybody and what they bring to the table. Gay teens students often feel they have nowhere to turn for help. And four out of five gay teens say they don't know one supportive adult at school. How sad. And if you're bullied as an LGBT kid, and you're not out, you can't tell anybody. You can go home and tell your parents, hey, uh, Dad, you're bullying me at school because they think I'm a homosexual. And they come out, and then what happens next? Kid has no place to live. Is he homeless? If he's a college student, and I've seen this happen many times, the child comes out, the teenager, the college student comes out, and what happens? The parents cut their funding off for school just because of that. Love is love. Plain and simple. And we often pass judgment because, well, I don't get that. And you know what? We often worry too much where the parts are going with all the people than where your heart's at. I think probably the first time I ever saw bullying occur was when I was in high school. I was a junior in high school and taking a health class. And <clears throat> I may have shared that with some folks yesterday when we were all out. There was a young kid named Richard in my class and he had kind of squeaky voice. It was kind of his own thing. But his voice had changed, but it hadn't. And everybody made fun of him all the time. Uh, they mocked him. And he was in the health class, along with a bunch of football players. And our teacher was the head coach for the football team. And so we were covering this section like, probably like maybe two weeks into the school year uh, or more, and they started talking about how to do bandages. They wrapped Richard up like a mummy in front of the entire class, and the football players in that class said, you do not move out of your seat. They wrapped Richard up in the gauze like a mummy, bell rings, and to make it even worse than this kid, what do they do? They lay him down in front of the door, they open the door, and the coach health teacher, required all of us to step over him if you wanted to leave the room. Who in the hell does that? Mm -hmm. So everybody walked out. I was the last one. And I refused to step over the body. And he goes, Greg Beard, I know your father downtown at the hardware store. I'm going to tell him that you're uncooperative in class. And I could not believe an adult, a teacher, would tell me that. And I said, really? And I grabbed Richard's feet and I moved him aside, and I walked out. I was writing a column at the Tri-City Times, a local paper, called The Left, Clowning Around. And I did movie reviews and different things, and I said, I'm going to write about this and put it in the paper. And I did. Paper came out, and my parents were going through a divorce at the time, and my mom said, there's a man at the door that says he's your teacher, and this is the day the paper came out. And, and so I was downstairs in the basement, and I heard, you know, he's coming downstairs. And it was the teacher, and he goes, I read your article today, and he goes, so did all the administrators at the school. <laughs> really? <laughs> and he goes, um, I'm kind of wondering if you could maybe write something else or just talk to the principal and 
say to him that, you know, it wasn't all that serious, you know, it was just a little fun between kids. And I'm like, no, no, I saw what I saw. He goes, do you like my class? I said, yeah, it's okay. He goes, do you want a good grade in my class? And I go, of course I do. He goes, well, I didn't do anything to change anything. I left it as is. Yeah. That was the first time, and I, I just remember that probably a few months ago. Um, I got to be in the class, I didn't feel it. Comes up, so in a group, they usually go after the same person all the time. It's, it's this emptiness, sense of power. Usually, the words faggot, you're so gay, or queer is used, even if it's a perception. They may not even be that. But again, it's a strike against the gay community because we're saying, well, that's a really awful thing. I'm saying what I think is the worst thing in the world to say to you, to really get at you. And everybody has like bully projects and, and things that they're trying to do and, and get it. We need to get the kids involved. Hear what the kids want to do. Let them have a say. I told my parents I wanted to be an actor. And my dad said, you need to choose something else. And I said, well, why is that? We need to make some money. I'm like, okay. So my parents, in dealing with my self-esteem at the time, always told me what they wanted me to do. And I was unsure exactly what it was. I'm trying to figure it out. And they didn't give me an opportunity to let me know who I was or a voice to figure it out. And of course, coming out as a gay son was not in the plan of things. And it threw their dreams away, but it didn't throw my dreams away. 